Wild animals shouldn't be kept in zoos, unlike domesticated animals. Domesticated animals are born in captivity, while wild animals are born in the wild. First of all, wild animals can get stressed if they stay in one place. These wild animals are not used to captivity in confined space. The animals may not eat the food the zookeeper gives because they can feel stressed and they're not used to the food. If the animal doesn't eat enough food, they can eventually pass away. Secondly, all wild animals should be roaming free. If this doesn't happen, the animals can get bored in their cages with nowhere to go. All animals have their instincts of searching for food. And so these instincts will be unused in, in the zoo. To conclude, wild animals shouldn't be kept in zoos because we want the animals to be healthy, fit and happy in the wild. Everyone, uh, welcome to another one of our sessions where we interview one of our wonderful authors. Uh, so Shimai has just read out her essay on uh, animals shouldn't be kept in zoos. So, why did you choose this essay topic? Um, I chose this essay topic because I feel very comfortable with it and I have more knowledge and of it. I love pets and animals, so I don't want them to get stressed or bored or hungry either. Yeah, excellent. Um, so, what do you think helped you with timing and keeping on task for the essay? Um, I think I looked back at the, my plan and I... Then I thought of more sentences that go through my mind then. Um, so what was your favourite line uh, um, from your essay? I think it's, these, animal, these wild animals are not used to captivity and confined space. Oh, brilliant. Why did you like that line? Because I knew a bit of literary device, captivity and confined, and I have news more as well. Uh, excellent. So you think being able to pick up advanced vocabulary and literary devices that you can use are very important? Mm -hmm. uh, what advice would you give somebody wanting to use advanced vocabulary? Um, you could so find more words in your in many books and write them in your vocabulary table. Yeah, excellent. So being able to do some research, then noting down like advanced vocabulary yeah. you'd like to use. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about uh, literary devices? So you were able to use uh, alliteration here. Um, what sort of literary devices do you think work well in essays? Mm, euphemism, uh, uh, because I use a bit of them in my essays. Okay. Yeah, excellent. So instead of saying all oh, these animals die, yeah. you said here they eventually pass away. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so it could be a nice way to connect to your audience or if you're saying something negative, it could be more effective if you've said it in a slightly less offensive tone as well. Um, so what I found reading this essay is your essay comes across as being very effective and clear, especially your introductory paragraph. What do you think was really effective there? Um, I think something that's really effective there is... I compare the wild animals to domesticated animals. Uh, so comparison can be a very useful tool in non-fiction? Yeah. Excellent. Um, what advice would you give to anybody uh, writing non-fiction? Mm, you could research about it and ask your parents about it. And read non-fiction books as well. And you could practice writing non-fiction essays as well. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, so do you find you read out your stories to your parents after you finish them? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, do you find this is quite an effective way of proofreading the essay? Yeah. Uh, so what are you looking out for when you're proofreading? Um, you're looking out for spark errors, adding more literary devices and adding more information as well. Ah, brilliant. Um, so do you find that reading it out to your parents helps you spot these errors more often? Mm -hmm. Uh, what other what other advice could you offer somebody uh, looking to help their proofreading? Read it yourself and see if you can find any mistakes, or you could let someone read your work and then you tell and then they'll tell you what the mistakes are, and then you could fix it and learn it in the future. Yeah, excellent. Uh, you were saying earlier about um, not just reading the essay as a whole and trying to proofread it as well. Yeah. 
Uh, so how else could you do it that way? You could finish one paragraph and then proofread it, see if you can add anything else. Yeah, excellent. Uh, what advice would you offer about creative writing on the whole to somebody? Mm, you could practice writing fiction and non-fiction things, and you also have a fiction armory, so you can have you have lots of characters, settings which are described, and lots of similes and metaphors and personifications as well. Ah, oh, excellent. So preparing uh, like original imaginative descriptions that you can then use elsewhere as well. Oh, excellent. Uh, thank you very much for talking with us and sharing all your tips.